Hey guys, today I'll be talking about nitrogen rejection units, or NRUs for short. And my name is Chris Schaefer, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So these three pictures below are some snaps of NRUs. Uh, the two on the left are industrial size, and the one on the right is more small scale. So the first topic of conversation is, why are NRUs important? And what is the reasoning behind why they're used in systems today? So firstly, they don't require any rotating equipment, which means there's no work input to separate the nitrogen. Uh, this makes the system cheaper in terms of energy costs for extraction. And since NRUs are integrated into the liquefaction system, there's no need to transport a heavy nitrogen stream to a, a separate processing plant to have that nitrogen then extracted. Just to summarize this diagram on the right real quick, you have feed gas coming into the system. There's your NRU right there, and nitrogen's coming out at about 98.5% uh, concentration. And that other 1.5%, which varies a little bit, that's going to contain some other anatomically light gases such as helium and argon. Now, after going through some other separation processes, it's important to see this right here, the LNG stream coming out with less than 5% nitrogen in it. And uh, before NRUs were in place, this concentration could be upwards of 50% nitrogen inside that stream. Now in these next few slides, I'll be going over the inner workings of the NRU itself. But first, I wanted to show where it would be placed inside of a system. And uh, this example here shows it inside of an optimized cascade process and located in the purple box there on the right shows where the NRU would be implemented in this system. And as mentioned earlier, anytime the word nitrogen is used in this presentation, it also means a small percentage of some other gases such as helium and argon. So I'll spend quite a bit of time on this slide. Uh, this image on the right is actually directly from the patent for uh, modern high efficiency NRU. So first, let's get familiar with this diagram. Uh, start with this. G shows the NRU stack itself. There you go. And next are the Vs here. Have V1, V2, V3, and V4. And these are either diverter valves or collection points. And this is where uh, predetermined mass flows will be fine-tuned. Next you have K here, which is a very important uh, component of an NRU. It's known as a Novel Internal Reflux Condenser. And we're going to be talking a lot more about that on the next slide. And finally, it's kind of difficult to see on the diagram, but stream 18 here is going into the reflux condenser. And stream 19 is coming out and down like so there is a feed gas that is coming into the NRU right here for the most part and the heavies drop down the heavy hydrocarbons drop down and then nitrogen is green will come up here through that condenser will come up through the top and as you can see there's the nitrogen outlet right there so just to keep following stream 19 on around here, we'll be going through this heat exchanger, come up here on around, and it'll be used to cool this stream, stream 8, right after V2. Then it'll continue on down around the corner, and that's going to be the low pressure sales gas right there. And the loop that stream 18 goes on is going into the condenser here all the heavy hydrocarbons are falling down to the bottom here right there you see stream 13 and then a little bit gets bled off right here and it's going to continue on around over here it's going to cool that stream right there in heat exchanger C and then come on around and that's going to be the high pressure sales gas going out and that was a quick summary of what's going on inside the NRU. And it's all leading up to what's going on in the condenser here, and we're going to dive a little further into that right now. This is just a zoomed in picture of that internal reflux condenser, and it's showing what's happening inside to cause the separation. 
So the tubes AA are just venting the nitrogen gases up like so. And all the heavy hydrocarbons are being drained down the DD tube right here. And they're being collected in this liquid trap. EE. And figure three is just giving you a bird's eye view of this cross section right there. And that sums up nitrogen rejection units and all the inner workings that are going on inside of the units themselves. And that brings me to the final point, which is to go over some of the benefits of NRUs. And that's going to be these two here on top and bottom, helium and liquid nitrogen. And how those gases can be beneficial, whereas before NRUs were a thing, uh, these gases would just be expelled into the atmosphere. So you have the four primary products that come from this process, and that's HE is helium, LNG is liquid natural gas, LIN is liquefied nitrogen, and NGL is natural gas liquids. And at the bottom there, I made it a point to mention that uh, NRUs being implemented reduce the nitrogen content in the LNG stream from uh, usually around 50% to less than 0.5%. So jumping right in, when helium is extracted, it is used for several uh, applications such as blimps, balloons, uh, also as an inert gas for welding, and it's also used in rocket fuel applications. So LNG when extracted is also known as methane, and its primary use is for energy production, which makes electricity, and also in heating applications. And ethane, propane, and butane all fall under natural gas liquids and all have several commercial uses. And that brings me to the final product which comes from NRUs, which is liquid nitrogen. And this is commonly known to be used in freezing food, also during transportation in the food trucks, uh, freezing cryogenic biological samples. And liquid nitrogen is used in the process of making superconductors and also cooling materials down to an extremely low temperature so that it makes them easier to fracture, which is important in the manufacturing processes. Just to summarize, NRUs are important because they require no work input and they increase the efficiency of liquefaction systems. And we went over some of the details that are actually going on inside of the NRU itself. And lastly, we talked about some of the benefits and applications of the extraction gases that come out of NRUs. And that wraps up this presentation, guys. Thank you for listening.